Good afternoon, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Elbows by Randall. Um, when a puzzle comes in from Randall, I pay attention. Randall's the only person from the Sudoku or puzzle community that I've actually met in real life. So, um, yeah, I saw this one and I just had to give it a try. So, what do we have? We have normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. We have killer cages. So digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. And arrows. Digits placed on arrows must sum to the digit in the arrow circle. Digits may repeat on arrows if allowed by other rules. So for example, those could be 3, and that to make that a, both 3 to make that a 6 breaks killer, but that's perfectly fine by arrow rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. 24 cage. These are 789, the three largest digits they could be because I cannot repeat digits in a box. Um, and 789 sums to 24. Now, I cannot put 9 on any of these arrows because 9 plus something to sum to a single digit doesn't work. So neither of those are the 9. That's the 9. Does that do anything to a 12 cage? Not really. But the these have to be 1 or 2 to sum to 8 or 9, because I have to add something to 7 or 8 to get to 8 or 9. Okay. Now, these are three cell arrows, but so is this one. So this is 6, 7, 8, or 9. These don't have to be that restricted, because digits could repeat on these arrows. Maximum that could be is 6. No, it can't be 6. This can't be 6, because for this to be 6, this would have to be... If this is 6, this would have to be 1, 2 to get to 9, but I can't make it 6, 1, 2. So the maximum this could be is 5. So these are from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and this is from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the maximum these could be is 4 and 5, because this is the same. So the maximum these could be is 4 or 5, so the maximum these can sum to is 9, and if the maximum these can sum to is 9, this is 9 with 4, 5. That's nice. So one of these is five. And it's either... And whichever one has a five has a one on it. Which would make this two, seven. So whichever one has a five has a one on it. Because I can't go 5, 2, 3, 10. So 5, 1. So it'd have to be 5, 1, 3, 9. Because whichever one has a 1 makes that the 2. So 5, 1, 3, 9, 2. But it could be down here. Could these be the same digit? Because you got 8, 1, 9. Putting a 2 here. Could you then go 718? No, you can't go 718. So these are both 9. Because when you go 819, and it doesn't, this logic would reverse. If this was 819, it'd be the same. So if I go 819, that put, makes this 234, because the 1 here means I can't, um, the, I have to put a 2 on this. If I don't put a 2, I'm at 3, 4, 5, or, yeah, 3, 4, 5, which is 12. So that doesn't work. So if I go 8, 1, 9, I have to put a 2 in here. Now, if I then go 7, 1, 8, how do I make a, an 8? Well, I need to put a 1 on an 8 arrow, but I can't put a 1 here, and I couldn't put a 1 here because I put a 1 here. So I can't make that an 8 arrow. So it has to go 7, 2, 9. Either way, both of these are 9. And these are different ones and twos. But we know the five. So it, five is going to go one, three, nine. And four is going to go two, three, nine. So these are one, two, three. And there's always a three on them. There's no nine here. I'm 
does, forces that down, but I don't know that that's forced up. Although there's something going on in box nine. 21. Oh, I know what those digits are. An entire box of a Sudoku sums to 45. Because if they, it contains all of the digits from 1 to 9. And if I subtract... So I know these are all of the digits from 1 to 9. If you add those together, you get 45. If I subtract 21 and 17 from that, I well, basically, if I add 21 and 17 together, I get 38. 45 minus 38 is 7. So those three digits have to add to 7. Now, the minimum digits are 1, 2, 3, which add to 6. I have to increase one of those digits by 1. If I increase the 1 by 1, I'm at 2, 2, 3. I've got a duplicate. doesn't work. If I increase the 2, I'm at 1, 3, 3. That doesn't work. So I have to increase the 3. And these are 1, 2, and 4. Which restricts these, I think. Because the maximum I can put here is six. No, the maximum I can put here is five. Because I can't put a six here because six, one, two would need nine and I don't have it. And I can't put seven here. The maximum I can put here is five and I can't use one, two, four. That's three or five. And the same is true here. That's three, five. That's crazy. This 21 cage is forcing this to be a 3-5 pair. Because if I put 6 here, what do I make these? The minimum they could be is 1-2, but that would still need this to be a 9, and it can't be. So this is a 3-5 pair, something to 8. That's a 9. So these digits, 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8. Now, if this is a 3, what can... 3 plus 1-2... This is at least a 6. So this is 6, 7, or 8. And this is 6, 7, or 8. Because this logic is symmetrical. The symmetry is going to be broken by these arrows. Uh, and there's this four, 14 cage. Okay. But so far, I'm playing with false symmetry. Now, the 5 here. One of these is a 5. And I can't go 5, 1, 0, 6, or 5, 1, 1, 7. So it's going to be 5, 1, 2, 8. So one of these is 1, 2 going to 8. That leaves a 3. Could I go 3, 1, 2, 6? Well, hang on a minute. Actually, I'm going to remove those. But 5, one of these is 5, 1, 2. If that's 5, 1, 2, that's a 4. If this is 5, 1, 2, that's a 4. So the 4 must be one of those two, and that's not the 4. But the other one is 3, and it can't be... If it was three, three, if it's three, it couldn't be three, one, two going to six. Because if it was three, one, two, I'd have one, two here and one, two here. And I couldn't put one, two in that cell or that cell, and that would have to be both one and two. It doesn't work. So I can't put six in either of these. So neither of these can be six. So if that's seven... Okay, let's look at it this way. This is a six, seven, eight triple, putting the six in one of those two. But this is a six, seven, eight triple, putting the six in one of those two. The only overlap is that cell being a six. Okay. One of these is five one two, making that a four, which means I couldn't which would make this a one if one of these is a one two, meaning I can't put a one two here. So I can't do three one two. Right, so one of these is Oh no, it's easier than that. Five one two eight would make this seven, this eight, this seven, and the same would work in reverse. Five one two eight seven eight seven. So it would be three having to get to seven, needing another four. Hang on, three and a three. Oh, because I can repeat digits. So it's either five, one, two or three, one, three. Either way, there's a one on each of these arrows. One of them is one, three. One of them is one, two. There's no one in either of those. That's the one. And this is a two, four pair. That's cool.
And now I'm running out of symmetry. Can I narrow this down any further? Is it figuring out which one, two goes in this box? Well, I know these are different. So yellow goes in there, blue goes in there. This can't be blue, but it could be yellow. This can't be yellow, but it could be blue. One is in, well, one has to be on this arrow because it can't sum to one. So one is in one of those two. So if one is in here, one is up here. And one would be blue, so one would be in one of those two. That's okay. So one is in one of those two, which works for what I had here anyway. This is a one, two, three, triple. That's a one, two, three, triple. So I can't put one, two, three in any of those. So that is a one, two, three, triple. So these... One, two, three, four, five, are six, seven, and eight. I don't know. Maybe that helps. Well, it gives me a... Oh, no, I already had the one, two, three, triple here. It gives me a one, two, three here, but I already had a one, two, three, triple here. Can this be one, two, three? Don't see why not. So yellow is in one of those three, blue is in one of those three. Nine is in one of those two. Nine is in one of those two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine in this box is right there. Nine in this box is right there. So that's not the nine. That's the nine. That's not the nine. That's the nine. That's put nine into a 14 cage. So these have to sum to five. So they're either, well, they can't be one, one, four. So these are two, three. And that gives me a one, two, three, triple, making that the four and that the two. Taking two out of here, this is the one, three. So this can't be seven. No, no, no. Digits repeating. That's right. So one, three. If this was, this is four. If this was an eight, that'd have to be a four and it can't be. So this is one, three, three, summing to seven, making that the eight, that the seven, that the eight, this is the five, and five goes with three to get to eight, so this is the one, two, making that the three and that the two. Now this can't be one, two, three, so this isn't six. So if this was an, a, uh, if this is a seven, these have to sum to five and they're one, four. If this is eight, these have to sum to six and they're one, five. Oh, they're seven because there's an eight in the box. So this is actually one, four. I know what these two digits are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are four and five. That digit I know. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a five. So this is a triple. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There's no eight in either of those. That's an eight. This is a six, seven pair. So these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are three and four. And there's a three looking down here. That's the four. That's the three. Meaning that's the five and that's the four. Five to get to nine needs another four. So that's the one. No. Yeah, I can't make it two, two. That's the one, three. That's the two. And nine is two plus seven. So this is eight plus one, meaning this is the two, three, four. This is, I don't need the coloring anymore. This is amazing.
There's no three here. There's no one here. Oh, the two three is making that the one and that the three. The one three is because the symmetry is looking down, making that the two and that the one. It takes the one out of there, making that the one, and the three is making that the two and that the three. This is amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are five and six, and the five is looking down, making that the six and that the five. The six is taking six out of those, making that the six. So I haven't used this 12 cage yet. What is this quadruple? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Well, there's no seven in that cage. That's a four, five, six. That's the seven, making that the eight and that the seven. So I know what this pair is. One, two, three, four, five, and eight. The five makes that the eight and that the five. This is a triple. Two, four, seven. No, it's not two, four, seven at all. One, two, three, four, six. Well, there's no four in either of those. So that's the four. This two six is resolved. That's the six. That's the two. Let's look at these. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. The eight makes that the six and that the eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, five. The four looks up, making five looks up, making that the four and that the five, which makes that the one and that the four. The six looks down, making that the seven and that the six. So this is a two or a three. So that's the three. That's the two. That's the three. These are one and two, and the two makes that the one and that the two. So these have to sum to 11, so they're five and six. That's the four. The one, no, that's not doing it. But the four looks across, making that the five and that the four. This is amazingly fun. It's so elegant. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the five makes that the six, that the five, which makes that the six and that the five. Triple. Six, seven, and eight. There's a six and an eight. So that's the seven. Take the seven out. Six looks up making that the eight and that the six. So this has to be one, two, or three because I can't add more than three to six. There's no two here. So this is one or three. So this is seven or nine and it's not nine. So this is seven, which is six plus one, making that the three and that the one. This box is missing a four and now I just need three more digits. Two, three, and eight. There is no three in either of those. That's the three and I'll use the two to make that the eight and that the two. That is a remarkably cool puzzle. 1651. Okay, that was that was cool. That was really cool. I love that puzzle. Possibly a little bit easier than the the puzzles I've been normally solving recently, but that was really really cool. Thank you, Randall. I really appreciated that one, particularly considering I'm solving under time constraints at the moment. I'm still solving for this is the puzzle that's going out tonight. Um, really appreciate that one, Randall. Um, beautifully elegant. And I loved the way that these arrows forced these digits to be different because of the way they pushed into the 18 cages and the way the 4, 5 pushed that to be a 9. And then the 1, 2, 4 here might force this to be 3, 5. All of that's just gorgeous. Loved it. Thank you very much. Um, hope everyone is enjoying the puzzles as much as I am, and as always, good luck with your solving.